up, buddy? How you doing? I gotta be I gotta be honest before I start off this video. This is just depressing. This is a depressing video <laughs> in many ways. A lot of people have uh, accused me of taking like great joy in the fact that the Star Wars Star Cruiser hotel experience failed. And in case this is your first time on this channel and you've somehow never heard of this debacle, let's just say that most normal people did not want to pay six thousand dollars to go to a Star Wars hotel. And of course, it has crashed and burned. It is no longer available to the Star Wars fans. And again, people have said, well, Vito, you know, you take great joy in this. You wanted this to fail. No, 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 no. I did not want this to fail. I wanted a better product, okay? I looked at the Star Wars Hotel and I went, well, a Star Wars Hotel, that's a good idea. A Star Wars restaurant and Star Wars food and a Star Wars adventure. All sounds fun. But it needed to make sense, it needed to be fun for Star Wars fans, and it needed to have a reasonable price. You can't charge a normal family $6,000 to go to your stupid concrete bunker for two days. Uh, why would they not just take a, a decent real vacation at that point? That's an insane amount of money. And it's a slap in the face to the fans. I know a lot of fans of Star Wars. Huge fans. They love it. They even love this stupid sequel trilogy, and they love Rey Skywalker for some stupid reason. And they went, I want to go to this thing but I can't afford it. It's going to bankrupt my family. And that was that was rude to them and also rude to the people who went. Who went and they said, you know what? I paid so much money for this. I didn't even have a good time. So the whole thing's been a debacle from front to back. It's finally closed, which is probably for the best. We'll see if Disney decides to retheme it as something that makes sense. I, I don't know. Maybe they can do something with that horrible concrete bunker that they've built. But on the way out, on the way out the door, one final insult to the fans. One one more middle finger in the face of every Star Wars fan who tried to support this thing, who tried to make it work. Uh, Disney on the way out really has to screw these people. Uh, we're gonna, And you know what? Right now, it's 12.30 a.m. I saw this on Facebook. I was about to go to bed. I saw this on Facebook, and I went, oh, I got to talk about this. What is wrong with you, Disney? Don't do this. Uh, we're going to talk about it real quick. Hit that subscribe button. And I want to talk about Star Cruiser merchandise. Okay, well, so, as some of you Disney people will know, one of the big perks of going to the parks or signing up for one of these experiences or whatever is you get access to exclusive merchandise, stuff you cannot buy outside of the parks, outside of these whatever pop-ups and hotels and whatever else. And and that's cool. It's it's like it's something exciting for you the fan who has paid money to be there that you get access to these little tchotchkes and whatever else and they become treasured heirlooms. This is especially true of the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. And I saw so many people who were trying to go on this thing or who went on this thing going, "How do I get this item? How do I get this item? I got to I hope they're not sold out of this lightsaber. I hope they're not so sold out of this thing." I mean, let's be real. We're collectors. We're fans. We like having merchandise. I have all sorts of video games and toys and whatever else. I understand the want, especially when you go on a $6,000 vacation. You want something to commemorate the trip and something that's special, something that is not available to the average consumer. As we saw, they, of course, had a giant gift shop with all sorts of things, little Jedi robes for dressing up your kids, crazy fancy gowns. I didn't really understand some of the clothing. I guess maybe... A little mechanics uniform, that's cool for the kids. Uh, you know, and in then smaller items, things like mugs and pins and whatever else. And again, they're all labeled Chandrillia Starline. So in your head, you go, well, obviously, the only place I can get these things is on the Star Cruiser. These are Star Cruiser exclusive items. Even small things, $10 pins, whatever else. But it's something exciting and a kind of a little reward for you, which... I don't know, you, you're bad enough with your money that you shelled out $6,000 for this thing, but at least you get a, a special little item that not everybody can get. That's cute. Uh, here's the problem, is when the special item that you were all excited to get, oh my God, I paid $6,000 to go on the Star Cruiser. I get, I could buy all this stuff that nobody else can get. So how exciting is that? Well, now, you, now it's just being uh, thrown in a bargain basement. It's in a bargain bin. It's just, it's just on clearance now. And any moron who stumbles into a Disney outlet can buy it. Here's how I was made aware of this over on Facebook is Jessica. Uh, we won't, we won't harass poor Jessica, but she said, I found some Halcyon items at the outlet near Universal tonight. And I went, Shh, are you kidding me? You're joking, right? Here it is, guys. This is the, and real quick, I'll take a look. This is the same jacket here. Uh, the red jacket. There's so much crap. This was the Chandrillia Starline jacket, an exclusive jacket. You can only get it on the at the Star Wars Hotel, sixty dollars. 
Now it's just at some stupid discount store, just rotten away. All these special pins. Collect all the pins. If you don't buy them today, you're never going to be able to get them. All the pins. $4.99, $3.99. If we look at the original price on those, if we zoom in a little bit, you can see down from $10 all the way down to $4. They're like, just get it out of here. The lanyard, everything else. They're like, we don't, we can't do anything with this. It's all garbage. And as I saw, again, this just got posted, but you already got one comment from Charlie who really puts this in perspective. He says, I'm happy for you, but this makes me very mad. Okay. I was on the third public cruise. Well, Charlie, I can't feel too bad for you if you dropped 18 grand on Star Wars. I think you're doing okay in life. I didn't buy everything I wanted because I said I would get more next time. You were going to go on it a fourth time? Charlie, just buy this crap on eBay. You're going to be fine. As I hoped and prayed they would give prior passengers like me who don't live in Florida a way to order leftover merch online. All right, well, Charlie, I think you have enough money that any merch you want to get, you can go on eBay and get it. You went on that thing four times? What are you, nuts? But I will say, for the average fan who saved and scrimped the $6,000 to take their family on the Star Cruiser, it's kind of a slap in the face that all these exclusive items that you bought, that you were told it's only available in the Star Cruiser, you'll never be able to get it anywhere else, are now just rotting away in a Disney outlet store. We're going to look at a video of that in just one second. But, I mean, just imagine, you know, why couldn't Disney just go, you know what, we couldn't sell this stuff, but we're a huge billion-dollar corporation. Let's throw it in a dumpster. Let's bur burn it. Put it in the furnace, burn it, and make these items, exclusive Star Wars items that were only available to the biggest fans who went on your dumb hotel thing. Don't go, eh, we got some of this trash merchandise from that spaceship we burned down to the ground. Just throw it in an outlet store. I wanted to see, again, if this was like a isolated thing, but uh, here we have from Sobel Family Vlogs. So for those of you guys who don't know, if you live in, uh, what do you call it? If you live in Orlando... They're making so much Disney crap that they have multiple these uh, Disney character warehouses, they call them. And basically, all the crap... Oh, wait, that's more of the Star Wars stuff. The They even got the stuff from the Droid Depot. You're supposed to only be able to get that stuff if you go... Wow. I, I did not see this part when I scrubbed through this video real quick. So that's another thing that we got to talk about is the fact that over at uh, Galaxy's Edge, you have the Droid Building Experience... But I guess that that's not doing very well because they have all these accessory panels for the droids that they just cannot move because why would you buy a bunch of stupid extra droid parts? Oh, my God. Look at this. It's all on dark, deep clearance. And again, these were supposed to be like park exclusive items. I guess nobody's buying the Boba Fett wooden doll and the Thai Echelon. Uh, we are going to take a look real quick at the Star Cruiser stuff. But I wanted to say... You know, traditionally you go to this store and it's like, all okay, Halloween's over. So all the leftover Halloween Disney crap is there. All the Minnie Mouse and wearing a pumpkin on her head crap. And I wanted to see. I said, well, is this a one-off thing? Is this Did this lady just get lucky finding it? And as we see here in the video around the 38-minute mark, he's looking all... There you go. Look at how many they have. These... <laughs> look at how many. There's so, And there's the lanyard. There's the housing and... Uh, four ninety nine down from ten bucks. So you must feel like an idiot if you bought these. You bought these things. Look at this lanyard pouch with charm, and you said, "Wow, I'm so excited that I'm getting this exclusive Halcyon merchandise. I can't get anywhere else." And now any moron who lives in Orlando, three ninety nine. <laughs> it's not even half. It's lower than half price. It's like sixty percent off. Oh my god, what a oh my god. Look at all this Star Wars crap they cannot sell. Even the R2, I thought the droid the whole build it your own droid thing is supposed to be a major part of the park. That's like one of their big Star Wars experiences. And here's the R2D2 serving tray. So you can have your R2D2 bring you fake uh shots. Nobody's buying that. This is a nightmare. This is terrible. Anyway, this is just sad for the fans. It's a sad time. Disney. When you promise people an exclusive experience with exclusive merchandise, I understand that you probably got a lot of this stuff, you know, rotting in a warehouse that you couldn't sell. Give it to some employees or something. I'll give it give it to charity. Don't just throw it on the shelf at 60% off. It look it's so cheap. And it's a dagger in the heart of all these poor Star Wars fans who went, I gotta go. I gotta get all that exclusive exclusive merch. And you're just throwing it again in a bargain bin and going, ah, have at it. 
We gotta we gotta pad out the quarterly numbers. Might as well throw all this crap at you morons who will buy anything from our stupid discount warehouse stores. Oh my god, guys. Uh, look, we're not. How much longer can we talk about the Star Cruiser? We'll see. We'll see. But just another sad reminder that Disney did not think this thing through. That this is just the worst nightmare for the fans. It's such a slap in the face. Why did you make it so expensive? Why did you make it so stupid? What are you going to do? Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Guys, check out my podcast at biggestproblem.show, and you can also listen to The Biggest Problem in the Marvels, our big review of that movie. Uh, you're going to love it. Take care of yourself. Star Wars, it's dead. It ain't coming back. You can't save this franchise. <laughs>